Might as well be the same thing. Honestly. Same with like Master Mario Mario. I just I sometimes I just call Mario Master and I'm like, wait, no, that's not what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> of course, K9 making it to winner semis, and so is Nico. You know what? This was always the classic back in Smash 4. Not much has changed, except maybe the, the a different K9 character. Exactly. Yeah. I forgot who did K9 play in. Uh, he played Smash Sheik 4? and Sh Diddy. D Diddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, every Sheik main pretty much went to Wolf, except for, like, a couple of them went to Pichu, so we'll have to see. They're both great they options. Yep. And they're very similar to how, like, Smash 4 Sheik kind of playing, you know, big combos, uh, setups into kills and stuff like that, so. Yeah, Anyways. dying early. Yeah. <laughs> Not Wolf, though. He's good. Anyways, let's see how this goes down. 127% already trying to find the up smash. Let's see how he gets off of the stage against Smash Art. Nico going to go for that fourth throw. Trying to two frame him with the fair, not gonna hit just yet. Yeah. Even sometimes I don't even know if it's a two frame, just because that hitbox is so wide, it might actually just clip before he even hits the ledge. But I, I feel like on some character, on a lot of characters, it really does. Mm -hmm. Oh, the back air doesn't come out. I guess I missed the timing on that. He had a perfect opportunity to get that punished in. Does not able to quite find oh. it, and the oh, we're not dead yet. Wow. Didn't even need shield art for that. Just the vision. Yeah. He saw the future. It is, it's let him survive longer, obviously. Yeah, I, I definitely thought that was it, but K9 going to take the first stock on this, but back here. All right, we're on Smash 4 terms now. There's about six minutes on the clock, too, so we're all good here, guys. Uh, back <laughs> familiar times. Yeah, to do, just on a new terrain here. But gets that fourth throw, tries to go for another chase situation, down throw into grab, and reads the get-up attack, but not able to find anything afterwards. Up throw a fair, just get him off the stage. And in Buster too, so that did a lot more percent. Even right. though up throw fair already does a lot of percent. It's another down throw. Let's see how he keeps him at the ledge. Gets another dash attack. Keeps him in the air at least. Not letting him return to neutral at all. And let's see how K9 tries to close out the stock. Just barely avoids that oh. F smash. And gets the forward tilt afterwards. And he just stood there. He, <laughs> he, knew would, exactly. he didn't even blink. Yeah, he knew exactly where that backslash was. Like that definitely like all, like breezed past his nose. And he's like, I'm, I'm not worried. Yeah, it's like that Bruce Lee movie where he just like just chops right in front of you. He's like, oh, okay, I'm fine. I'm yeah, fine. it was definitely, that was a, that was big, uh, that was, that was big energy moment. Yeah. Nico's, actually both these players still having a hard time trying to close out this stock. It's been about a minute and neither of these two have been able to close it out yet. But one good hit from either of these two just not finding the solid hit. That's what matters right now. Gives him a lot of space actually. I don't think he was expecting that vision. That could potentially have been it. Nico going for a risky option there too. But he gets out of that scenario just fine. But the four tilt finally yeah, takes it Swipe him out of there. Mm -hmm. Alright, how's he... Classic. Nico, how does he do with Smash out on the ledge? I was about to be like, how does he make it back? And I was like, oh, wait, no, he's not. Never mind. When Nico has you on Smash out on the ledge, that's definitely when you play at your worst. You're like, I, I, I don't know what to do, and then you just do the worst option. Nico's just ready. Yeah. Okay, he gets a re-grab. <laughs> Again, in Buster doing so much damage, and Wolf already does a lot of damage so that's just so much that you have to hold just because you want to get your damage in yeah Nico committing to that buster art sometimes when he goes into buster art and he starts getting combo he's like I'm out of here immediately but that time he thought he could maybe get the reversal get some damage back on didn't quite happen the way he wanted to there all right goes for down throw this time Nico not out of this yet he has him at 60% he still has it, all of his arts. He's going to be able to do this as long as he gets the right ledge traps. Oh, yikes. Missed. Unfortunate. Yep. Sometimes the best thing to do is just stand there. And then you'll, you'll win, man. Sometimes you just got to wait wait for them to mess up. Yeah. <laughs> so that didn't quite work out the way he wanted to. But, uh, you know, that's going to be K9 taking that first game. You, you could, Yeah, you could just feel that face that Nico was making when he... Uh, just went back to PS2. What face? He always makes that face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Every time he plays, he just looks the most unimpressed man in the world. I mean, unimpressed, I disappointed. Mean, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be, that's got to be good for your nerves if you can keep yourself looking like that the whole time. Alrighty. Uh, awkward boxing scenario. Not enough hits <laughs> for the jab. Like fully connects yet. You know, in those scenarios doesn't quite work out for either of those two. But Joker, Joker, <laughs> Nico is able to. 
bring this back around. Ooh, big combo coming in from K9. Yeah, looking like a Sheik right out there with all those fares, man. Actually, oh. you know what? I think this character fares, fair trains better than Sheik does in this game now. <laughs> yeah, does a lot more damage. Yeah, I know the hit stun's better too. And the hitbox is a little bit more reliable, probably. I, I Don't quote me on that, but that's just that's just my prediction. But anyways, here we go. Tech check situation. Goes for the down to pick some back up. And how does he get the ledge option? He does not get that back air, but... Oh! Ooh. Up air still strong. And the single crouch from Nico. And I love seeing how like players interact once they've gotten their stock. What they'll do, some of them will just jab, some will taunt. But, you know, Nico staying humble, single single crouch, he knows he's down. Any taunt could potentially get him bodied. Yep. All right, the fair comes in, it picks him up again with a down tilt. Nico's really good at making sure that you don't get those texts and just scoop you back up. Yep, up he's out of shield. Yeah, Nico steamrolling on this stock here. And he's got the shield art available just in case he thinks he might lose here. 177%, of course, the survivability from Nico. That's nothing that we're unfamiliar from. And K9, I'm sure, is un not <laughs> unfamiliar from it either. Oh, but you know, back throw. That one, that one launched him out of there. Yep, that'll be able to do it. Ooh, missing the grab right there. Going for a dash grab instead of a standing grab. And going to get him F smash for it. Yep. Just a raw F smash able to take it there. Nico knew the, the same amount of time would be enough too to be able to make it back. He's got Buster Art available. Ooh, Goes for the, the footstool. Honestly, I would have liked to see Nico just go off stage and end it. He didn't really need to stay on stage for that. He didn't have anything really to lose there, but... That's what he was comfortable with, and he got the up smash anyways. Did you see that? He did the up tilt, up tilt, and then moved back very slightly. Knew he was going to try to land there to get out of there again. And then just forward smashed him, took out the stock there. Nico yeah. with a quick turnaround to bring things back to a 1-1. He made it look like game one didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine K9 was like, oh man, I got to deal with this Shulk again. I thought he was going to switch mains when Smash Ultimate came out. Who here really thought like Nico was gonna switch mains in Ultimate? No one. <laughs> oh, well, soon he, he, he soon soon with Joker coming out. True, but even then, he's still gonna have that like pocket choke to just body you for a game. Yeah, going into it, K9 taking him to town. I don't know how I feel about this pick, honestly. I mean, you got the white space. I feel like it just gives both of these two a little bit more room and breathing room to really what they want to try and do. True. Four minutes for the bar in case you want something there, Toasty. <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do that. I got to commentate. I'm, I'm doing a service. Yeah. Hey, here we go, though. Yeah, like I said, uh, there's a little bit more space, so both of these two can kind of keep uh, their space away from each other, a little bit more time to think. The last game on Pokemon Stadium, it felt like they were really on top of each other the whole time. True. And now they're probably really killing each other off the, off the top in these two, so... I suppose both just want to live a lot longer. Makes sense. And the fact that Smash, it'll probably make you live longer against Nico's Smash Art. So, so it's a smart idea. Oh, just run off air. Very smart. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about Wolf. Sometimes you just want to be in that very safe area where you just hold up and then you're good to recover. But he just caught that drift and knew where he was going to go and then was able to get that upbeat. Nice spot dodge. Knowing that Nico was going to try to swing at him back. Man, he's just trying to throw out the... I mean, all the smash attacks from Wolf are pretty safe, so... I don't blame him for trying to go for them, but it makes it really obvious he's trying to fish for that kill. And I think Nico's taking advantage of that here. Yeah, he's no. staying close to the leg. No, what? What? I don't know. They're being weird. Oh, okay. Cool. JMX is uh, ruining our commentary time together, Testy. <laughs> I don't know, man. They're out here being weird. Yeah. Anyways, getting back to it. Has K9 at 107%. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> at the same time, Wolf can still get a lot of big damage output. One good grab and a good tech chase read, and all of a sudden you're at 90, <laughs> like we said before. But as a matter of that happening, decides to Wolf Flash, getting a little bit of distance back instead. And Nico wasn't ready for it to be able to clip him before he made it back to the stage. And the back <laughs> air. You know, honestly, uh, Shulk and Wolf do have really similar back airs. Has a bit of startup, but has a lot of range. 
you can drift back, and there's usually it's really difficult to punish. Right. All right, now we're going to jump art. Going to get a lot more mobility here. Switches to Buster Art. And I think that's one of the big things about Nico too, is that he knows when to switch to it. Doesn't commit to the mode the entire time. It's very similar to how, like, when Pokemon trainers, they don't commit to the, to one character. They know when to switch, and they're keeping in mind of those different options once you switch into different modes. Yeah, really what separates, like, those good Shulks from the bad Shulks. And, you know, same with respect to the uh, trainer mains. Wow. I can't see the future. <laughs> Just standing there. That that honestly was just a vision of, you know what? I know exactly what's going to happen right now. Yeah, he went for it a lot in game one and then forgot about it game two. I think K9 forgot about it too. And he just went for it again on uh, game three. And it worked out for him on that uh, last stock situation for K9. Sticking with the Wolf one more time. I mean, yeah, I don't see any reason to. I don't know any other character K9's really been like playing to the degree that his Wolf has been getting him. Right. Oh, he, oh yeah, I thought he was about to get a really big punish from trying to laser. Because uh, I like that from uh, Nico. He does not want to go and shield just tries to preemptively jump over it, gets a big punish out of it. Can I getting greedy with that second laser? All right, back there, get him off stage. Can I with a bit of a leap there, but that's really nothing to Nico. He's like, you know what, I can bring this back. Nico has that like ability to just think, you know what, I want to bring this back now, and then he'll bring it back. Right. Again, the space lets him be a little bit more oh run off there again, <laughs> and yeah. in Smash are there. You're not, you're not coming back. Yeah, that patience just did not want to immediately go back in into the fray once he was in the disadvantage position. Just waited for K9 to come to him and just reverse it back around with that patience. But guess a wolf flash right that there. That wasn't Buster too. I feel like that did so much percent, but yeah. that down tilt gonna take him off. He yeah. did get a lot of drift off of that. He was in jump art. Get the re-grab, but gets that jab afterwards. Still trying to keep up the pressure. Just jumped right over that grab. Gets so much damage already at 107 percent. Wow, that sh that shield looking mighty, mighty small right there. And that F smash definitely was aimed for seeing if K9 was gonna still shield. Yeah. All right, wow, I now. love that conversion he did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I okay, really that, I yeah. That time I thought he was really gonna snap to the ledge. I I feel like he should have. I feel like he should have snapped on that one. Maybe he might have held down, or, you know, it was just the frame before it could have happened. Really unfortunate. K9 going to take this lead. You know what? Hey, we take those. Yep. It's, I'm not responsible for what you do with your stock. If you want to die, you can die. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Nico has been pretty explosive with these stocks recently. So let's see if he just closes it out real quick. Brings it to the last stock scenario. But K9 getting a second win right here. Reads the jump, keeps him in disadvantage, gets that forward tilt, gets so much damage onto him. And wow! Has to down smash to clip him right out of there. And we're going to game five again in our next semi smash. Really hard for uh, Shulk to snap on that up B, and K9 realized that. We haven't really seen him go for it a lot. You really just see him like walk back, let him recover, and then try to go for a legend. But that time he's like, you know what? Yeah, we're done. We're done here. Right, exactly. So game five, that was definitely looking good for Nico right there, but. Things change, man. Things change. <laughs> Go grab some of this. This is definitely hours old popcorn. Hey, man, it's still good. You're right. All right, here we go. Last stage. How fitting it be final destination? Man, true that. Definitely, Nico wants to keep K9 in the air a lot. Just do all those juggles that he was able to do in the last game without the, the without those pesky platforms coming to save the day. Right. Oh, trying to get an air to regrab, but he just drifted too far back. Well, these two still relatively close to the early percents. Anything can happen, really. Quick sh uh, switch to shield mode. I think that might have been just to throw off the throw combo. Oh no! I was oh gonna say, God. you just die at 50? <laughs> 50 from center stage. That Let's was not forget about that. He, he, he was almost, any closer? Yeah. He almost died from that. Like, holy moly. Like, any closer, you might have been gone. You would have been gone. Yeah, I am so shook. But, okay, gonna clip him with that forward air. Quick wolf flash. 
whether he wanted to hit the ledge or just kind of poke him a little bit, got him a lot of damage for it. Yeah. If you know that your opponent's going to, like, try to run off and do something or just stay at the ledge, you can use that wolf flash to defend yourself. It doesn't clip to the ledge reliably, like I said, so that means the hitbox can come out and uh, clip them instead. That up there just barely not going to work. Got the first hit, second hit not going to connect. Definitely would have killed two. Oh, just went for down tilt. I don't know if uh, he was trying to scoop him up or something or just uh, get a little extra damage. I'm going to smash art one more time. Takes it again. So, but that back air, that, that looked extra meaty mm -hmm. right there. I feel like Nico in jump mode just kind of let himself fall right into that. Even with the extra jump height, just put himself in the same position K9 wanted him to be in. But Nico does have him on the ledge again. This is looking so bread and butter for uh, for Shulk. Right. He's getting so much damage, and he's gotten to 90% just from a quick nair grab. He's ready to take the stock again. <laughs> oh, another fair. Puts him off. Downer not going to hit, though. k probably count his blessings on that one. Yep. He's using those lasers to get a little bit of extra... Free 8% damage every time. Well, it was really hard for him to really get anything big to convert and just stuck to the ledge a little bit too long. That fair is going to clip him just fine. Nico's so good at just making you think of, like, what do I need to do for my option? And then by the time you think of what you need to do, he's already got a fair lined up for you. Yeah. Oh my god, that run underneath him, pivot grab was so clean. Just keeping him in a bad position, and Nico still going in, gets another down throw. Tries to finish it off with the dash attack, but he's still got that Buster Art. It's gonna end it at 75%. Right now, Nico, Nico's looking like he's ready to move on to winners finals here. Let's well, not it. count out K9 yet. If he can, if he can make it back and bring back the stock. This is this is in the realm of possibility for Wolves, but Na but fairer. Gonna a great, great DI. In. Oh, that was so risky that high recovery. I thought he was just gonna fair him for free. But K9's got a second chance of life here. If he can close out the stock, he's got a bit of a chance, but he's getting sent off stage every time. The Wolf Flash comes in, doesn't get the down smash to clip him, and oh, he reads the jump oh. right over there, and that's going to be the set going to Nico. He's going moving on to winner's finals here. With a two stock. Good stuff to Nico. He was turning it up. He caught K9 trying to be a little too aggressive, thinking, all right, I need to end the stock now. But Nico had full control about that whole set. Yeah, that was a... <laughs> Nico's just standing there. He knows exactly that he has he, he, nowhere to go. He's been there before. He knows. He knows the rundown. Yep. So unfortunately, K9 gonna 